Hello students, this will give you information about your registration options for next year if you are currently taking honors geometry. If you are currently taking honors geometry, you need to know what your graduation requirements are. So for graduation, you must pass an Algebra 1 course, could be honors or not honors. You also must pass the geometry course. So if you pass this year, you will have fulfilled that requirement. You must also pass another math course. So that could be honors algebra two if you took it last year, that could be algebra two next year, or it could be many of the other options that you have, but you need a third math course. Based on what you took last year, will determine what you need to take next year. So last year, if you took algebra one, these are your options for next year. You could take Honors Algebra 2 with a workshop. This class requires a workshop and you cannot take honors without it. So it will take up two classes next year for your planning purposes. Most students select this option again, and those students usually earn an A or B in their math courses. Some students who earn a C also decide to take this course because they want that challenge and they want to work hard. You could take Algebra 2 with workshop. That means an Algebra 2 course, a little less rigorous than Honors Algebra 2, but still everyday contact with your math teacher. It will again take up two of your classes and most students who earn C's in their math courses choose this option. Or you could take Algebra 2 every other day. This will only take up one of your math courses and some students who earn C's and most students who earn D's in their math courses do take that option. Since you are currently in honors geometry, please talk with your math teacher about this option if it's the right one for you, if this is the one you're thinking you wanna take. If you took Algebra 2 honors last year, here are your choices. Most students from this point next year take trigonometry pre-calculus. That's one semester of trigonometry, one semester of pre-calculus. Most students who earn an A or B and some students who earn a C in their normal math courses take that option. These students who are taking trig pre-calculus are looking to take AP calculus their senior year or potentially AP statistics their senior year. So this is a great junior level math course. You could also take AP Statistics. However, if you choose to sign up for AP Statistics next year, that means you do not plan on taking four years of math in high school. If that is you, please let your teacher know so they can talk to you about what that means for your senior year and what your options are. Just so you know, AP Statistics is available to you your senior year as well. This is a good Englishy math course for your senior year. So a lot of students take trig pre-calculus and then AP statistics their senior year. You have another option called probability and statistics. It's a much less rigorous math course. If you are currently in honors geometry and you wanna take this option, please talk to your math teacher about it. The choice is ultimately yours, but please consult with your current math teacher if you have questions. We want you to make an informed decision and one that is best for you.